Flight Test. I'm Alex and this is Josh. Hi. We got another new airplane for you guys. And for those of you guys who are new to our channel, we do all kinds of DIY airplanes. In yes. fact, how many do we have so far? Over 40. So all of our planes, these are actually, believe it or not, these are made out of foam board that you can buy from the dollar store, poster board, barbecue skewers, popsicle sticks, uh, hot glue. Yes. And you can build one of these airframes for less than 10 bucks, which is pretty awesome. Basic materials with lots of fun, lots of memories. Mm -hmm. And speaking of memories, this plane is probably one of the most special yes. meetings out of all the ones that we've released so far. Uh, if anyone's known us or watched a lot of our content, you know I'm fascinated with a certain plane called a peat and pole. Yes. And that peat and pole, the reason for that source is it was a source of many memories with my father and also a lot of my dear friends that, as I was growing up in aviation. Yep. So my father, even before he passed, uh, got me a kit and we actually were building one of these together. And it wasn't until after he passed that we actually had the opportunity as a family to buy one. And uh, what we decided to do was to make a small model version. Yep, and of that's the yours. One. Right yeah, there. So, so right here, and by the way, a big shout out to uh, the Beta Builders team. A matter of fact, our hope is to be while we're down here in Florida to fly with some of them. This is Joel Cannon. And Joel, you are kind of representing an amazing group that people probably don't know about. No, absolutely. So I'm one of the beta builders. So we're finally unveiling ourselves to the world, I guess. What these folks do is they actually vet our kits, both in build experience and flight experience, give us feedback. We take all of it. And then as we go ahead and get closer to releasing it, mm -hmm. uh, we have a perfected product. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking it up for once. We get to uh, fly with one of the beta builders and you get to see what your hard work has yielded. And by the way, if you're wondering where we are, we are at the headquarters of Aviator PPG. It's actually, they're so kind to get us permission from the FBO to fly here legally and properly. So don't just go to an airport and fly. We got special permission for this. But also, we're going to be doing some really great general aviation content with powered paragliders featuring Aviator PPG. Look for that content to come soon. It's amazing. All right, you ready to go in the air? I think so. All right. Well, let's do this. That's got a little so, bit of punch to it. Yeah, you literally <laughs> only need you only need to go up to about half throttle. This is powered off the F-Pack. Yeah. And right now I'm cruising about just under half throttle. Yeah, I'm, I may be giving it a little bit much, but it's just kind of, it likes <laughs> just sitting in the air, not doing a whole lot. Well, here's the encouraging thing is we flew this in really bad wind because we weren't sure what kind of weather we're gonna have in Florida. We weren't given the best hand right off the bat. And uh, we found that with the three channel configuration, it handled the wind exceptionally well. And you, I barely touched the throttle on this thing, and oh, yeah. uh, it, it definitely carries its speed well, and we you go. really don't need to do a whole ton for this airplane Not to fly all. well. Frank Pavliga, a dear friend of ours, he actually uh, is currently flying the Alan Rudolph Pete, and that's the one in red. That's currently the oldest existing uh, flying Pete and Pole. All the way back in the late 30s, Bernard Pete and Pole sold this Alan Rudolph Pete to Alan Rudolph to fly, and it was from an old Pete and Pole flight school. And uh, long story short, he shut down the school because the students got kicked out of a bar late one night, and in a drunkard <laughs> stupor, they grabbed the Pete and Pole and flew over the bar to throw rotten eggs at it, and they ended up crash landing in the field. Oh, wow. And from that point on, uh, Bernard Pete and Pole disbanded the club and sold uh, Alan Rudolph the wreckage, which quickly got repaired and is still flying to this day. Yeah. I'm blessed to have that plane in front of me. And uh, Frank Pavliga has done a great job keeping it beautiful. He just recently did a, a top end restoration on it and it looks better than ever. <laughs> <laughs> but Alex is just about to yeah. it. Uh, you want to see if we can form up and get nice and low? There we go. Let's see. Right. We'll go down the runway here. Once again, we're at Aviator PPG's headquarters. They're nice enough to open the doors and really host us through the weekend. And uh, it's been a real blessing to spend time with them. Their vision and our vision really parallels. They want to see people have a great experience in flight. And uh, so do we. <laughs> that was great, Alex. <laughs> All right, so we talked about new friends. This is our new friend along with his beautiful family and also his friends. And we are at your family airport, aren't we? We are. This is actually, I was born 100 yards from here, which is kind of crazy, That's but, awesome. but we're here. We're home. That's awesome. Look for this wonderful gentleman and his team to be giving us a lot of knowledge about paragliders and stuff. And where can they actually see your YouTube channel? YouTube.com slash aviator. Yes. Gives them all the information, both flying airplanes, skydiving, paramotoring, and family shenanigans as well. It's if lots it, of fun. If it flies, he loves it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take him up. He has not flown RC in a long time. I, I feel like this should at least be stated here. Yeah. I've never really flown RC. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a dent in the side of his hangar that shows that he has flown RC, but just not very long. Not, not very long, not very well. I can fly a quadcopter, okay. Like any yeah. kind of quad, yeah. as long as it has an auto stabilizer, I'm okay. But 
Josh guarantees me that with a peat and pole, mm -hmm. you got and it, flight man. tests. And Alex says the same thing. I'm, I'm kind of scared, but he says that I can learn to fly it in less than five minutes, and then my son can learn to fly it from me. So and we're gonna edit to make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. excited, man. So, I am. So this is three channel, little under half throttle, with about the width of your thumb, and then I'm gonna try to trim it out. All right, so half throttle, half right, throttle, and I'm gonna take you up. Taking off. You flying? Am I flying? I'll, You're gonna, flying. Yep. I was like, I'm trying. It's You're not doing working. fantastic. All right. <laughs> My flying's amazing. You ready? Just under half throttle. Three, half two, throttle. one. It's yours. My channel. All right. Keep the speed. You want me a lazy loop, sir? You just fly in circles. That's how Pete and Poles are made. <laughs> You're doing great. Yeah. So have we surpassed your actual original flight yet? I think we got about another six seconds before I crash <laughs> into the side of the building. I'm gonna bring here, the throttle up a little the, bit. Here's Ooh, the real it gets cool a little thing. Funky. I just turned you. You did that? Mm -hmm. I didn't want to turn yet. I was trying to get it close to the building so, so we can relive this. You wanted to visit your old dent. How do we do this really quick? Ready? Yeah, he's full. <laughs> no, I can roll fun. pretty well though. You took back over. This I is did. cheating. <laughs> I did. You can't get away with this. I feel like August should do this now. August, you want to give this a whack? You want to try it with me? All right, I'm going to Put your hands control. around me. All right, you got the airplane? Yep. All right, your airplane. All right, August. Your dad's gonna give you some instruction, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. This is the throttle. This makes us go faster and slower. This one lets us go forward, up, and down, okay? And all so we're gonna keep our eyes on the airplane, and we're gonna try. Josh, you can help us out if you'd like, but yeah. I think we got a pretty good idea. If we want, if we go too slow, the airplane falls. Yep. If we go too fast, the airplane can break apart. So we have to be very balanced. Your airplane, not ours yet. Oh, okay. Are you ready, August? Yeah. All right, we're gonna let it get level first. All right, all yours. All right, our airplane. So we're gonna fly it nice and steady. Oh, a little slower, smaller inputs. There you go. Gotta keep those inputs really small, August. Ooh, not too fast. Whoa! <laughs> don't want to, don't want the quad August, you're doing good, man. This nice good work. Neck workout. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're. I really wish I could fly upside down. Well, upside down. <laughs> he might be my son. It's possible. <laughs> Look at that. This is this is uh, this is Austin's yeah. throttle setting right now, and that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> August, like I got this. It's vertical. I'm gonna loop it right now. Left, little barrel roll, little loop. Oh my gosh, it snaps so nice. <laughs> it's just with the rudder, too. Yeah, just with the rudder. Oh my goodness. All right, we'll stall it real quick. No power. It does spin. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was about 11 G's. I would have died. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, August, what do you think, buddy? Was that pretty fun? That was a lot of fun. Yeah, that was a blast. You guys did great. You did really good. Arthur, Honestly, you did great, buddy. It's amazing. And he was actually rocking it. He really was. This Very is, cool. It's it's actually, I've always kind of been scared of it after my first experience With the into that wall over there. But <laughs> that was been almost 30 years ago. And, and so, we did all right. One of our passions is to get families both young and old into the hobby. And uh, your father's a pilot. My yes. father's a pilot. Our, our parents have had powerful influences as we've grown up. Uh, all through aviation. Uh, with flight tests, we really want to recreate that, uh, whether it's in models or whether it's in planes that you actually build and flying in. So it's, it's kind of an exciting chapter uh, with both 3D printed yes. foam, with, with you know full scale and models yep. kind of merging together. And we're really happy that you guys have made it possible. Yeah, we can't thank you guys enough. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so. We do new episodes every Monday and Wednesday. We do vlogs now every Tuesday and Friday. So we do four plus videos a week. Yes. So make sure you check it out. The Pete and Pole, it is available on our store now. And we'll see you guys next time. Guys, thank you so much. Hey, thank you. Awesome. It's been amazing. Thank Let's you put another battery into it. And Let's thank you it. all. It's been a joy. <laughs>